Hi there, I'm Roy Krebs, founder and CEO of Natural Stacks. And today we're speaking with Dr. Pandey from Sabinsa, which is one of our ingredient suppliers where we source our coleus for scoli, for scolin is the extract, and, and they call it for sleen. So thank you for joining me today and look forward to hearing more about this special ingredient. Thank you, Roy, for inviting me here. Of course. So Sabinsa, I, I know is so science oriented. You have, I think, 385 patents, um, multiple patents on this, this extract of for scolin. Um, so first, I guess, what is this, this plant, coleus for scoli? Uh, where is it grown and, and how, how is it cultivated? Yeah, interesting thing. Uh, coleus actually has several species and uh, many of them are, you know, more of a decorative uh, feature. But one particular species, that is the coleus force coli, that is the source for the for the force colin, the diterpene, uh, you know, the active which we are looking for. So this uh, force coli uh, is the only plant which contains the force colin. And uh, while coleus has grown, you know, in variety, I mean, uh, different uh, areas of the country, uh, force colin, uh, coleus force coli is basically grown in the southern part, which is a little bit warmer side on the climate part. And uh, Sabinsa actually, uh, you know, uh, pioneered this extract uh, in early in 19, I mean, uh, early 2000, so on. So what uh, we did in, in order to have a good supply chain, we worked with the uh, contract farming system. So many of our, uh, you know, uh, products like uh, turmeric, for example, coleus, uh, black pepper, we do contract uh, farming in order to get a good supply chain for the raw material because for any natural product, the supply chain does make a difference. And, you know, how you uh, gather your plant, how you harvest their plants, and, you know, how you grow, it makes a lot of difference in the, in the quality. I mean, quality does not start from the point when the ingredient is put in the processing, you know, and so on. Quality starts at the, you know, at the ground level in the fields. So we work with the, uh, you know, uh, with the farmers uh, contract, you know, on contract basis. So this helps a lot in sense to not only maintain the supply chain, it also helped in a lot of ways to the, you know, the medicinal cultivation because plants like coleus they are uh, you know grown for a specific purpose uh coleus actually is uh coleus force coli was used uh, or rather say has been still considered as a pickle so in some parts of the country i mean especially the southern part it's used as a pickle uh, there are some applications in ayurveda also but majority of interest uh since uh Sabinsa started you know, uh, working on this uh, plant has been how to increase the cyclic AMP, the secondary messenger. And that secondary messenger has a lot of role to play in different areas, whether it's the cognitive uh, side or is it in the, uh, you know, lean body mass. So that's how uh, coleus came into the picture. Right. So you have this, this coleus plant and a specific coleus plant that I believe is like a tuber almost Right, right. The root of the plant. And within this coleus for scoli plant, there's this extract called for scolin. Right. And for scolin has been scientifically shown to increase cyclic AMP or C amp in the brain. Exactly. Coleus uh, for scoli is the only plant species of in the in the, in the genus of coleus. I mean, coleus has got a lot of varieties and so on. But for coleus for scoli is the only plant which contains this compound. And so this is very unique, um, uh, you know, in, in that sense. Plus, uh, yes, the, the force coli, uh, you know, uh, the force colon uh, compound actually occurs more in the root side. It's, it's a tuberous root. So it actually has, uh, you know, a lot of uh, biomass coming in the roots itself. So we take the roots uh, for extraction, dry them, and put for uh, you know the solvent based extraction system it's a multiple stage extraction to get uh, 10% 20% force coli uh force coli is also used in uh, you know uh, in uh, some of the i would say 
in topical application. So we have actually went up to 90% uh, for school in pure for school in Kapoor. But most of the clinical studies and uh, most of the investigation on increasing cyclic AMP have been through 10% and 20% extracts. And they are standardized with, uh, you know, HPLC based analysis method, where right. you run the uh, sample and compare it with the active force scoring. So was was Sabinsa the first company to to create this extract of force scoring? Right, right. Uh, force scoring actually was uh, you know uh, the compound itself was I think uh, investigated in back in 1960s, but there's no real application on that one. And in the when it comes to the dietary uh, you know uh, uh, supplement side, Sabinsa was the first company which actually commercialized the product and patented uh, the extract. This compound. Because of its, uh, uh, you know, effect on the cyclic AMP, the secondary messenger, has found a variety of roles. I mean, if it comes to, uh, you know, improving the lean body mass, that's one way. In you know, we look at the fat cells. We also look at the, you know, cyclic AMP uh, for increase. I mean, uh, for uh, what you call as uh, uh, improving the uh, uh, muscle, uh, you know. Uh, uh, just okay. yeah. So I, I would be interested to hear kind of how does how exactly does forescolin increase cyclic AMP? Do, do you know the mechanism there? That how right. That... So when it comes to um, other components, let's say uh, you know, example uh, uh, the other compounds which actually increase the cyclic AMP, most of them go through a receptor system so on the cell membrane you may have receptors and through the receptor the signal goes into cyclic AMP. force colon actually has a very different route it has a direct activation of cyclic AMP. that is why it is considered uh, more uh, you know prominent in when it comes to the cyclic AMP activation so what happens is in the cell membrane there is a transmembrane enzyme system that is called adenyl cyclase system so think like this, the enzyme is basically half inserted inside the membrane and half is coming outside. So by, by actually affecting that enzyme system in the on the cell membrane, it reaches to the cyclic AMP directly. Now the other route would be, which is you know normal uh, uh, for uh, you know increasing cyclic AMP, is through a receptor technology, receptors. The problem is receptors are not, you know, you can consider them as the switches, uh, electric switches. You, the more you use them, at some point of time, they will, you know, they'll stop working. So receptors become less and less sensitive towards, uh, you know, any stimuli. So for schooling, uh, why it is effective for long term and why it is effective in, in areas where most of the receptor uh, based cyclic AMP fails is because it has a direct activation on this adenyl cyclic system. So that is a key a mechanism, I would say, which makes forescolin different from other, uh, you know, other cyclic AMP activators. Yeah, very unique that it's able to do that directly. And this happens to only be the, the only plant compound. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Really cool. So yeah, we use it in our, in our neural fuel nootropic formula. Right. And the coleus is increasing the cyclic AMP like we just talked about and then we're using artichoke extract which contains luteolin which is a PDE4 inhibitor and right. PDE4 breaks down cyclic AMP so if we can slow the breakdown of cyclic right. AMP and increase it at the same time right. we'll have a super elevated amount of cyclic AMP. exactly so you are basically uh, you know synergizing uh, to create the more cyclic AMP content yeah right yeah that that synergy and <laughs> you really feel it, um, and, and cyclic AMP leads to CREB, which then leads to long-term potentiation in the brain. Right. That's wonderful. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's we have. I, I've never seen it in any other cognitive support formula. It, it's quite unique. Um, mm -hmm. And it, and yeah, we're, we're 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 so happy to be using this ingredient. And and I love that it is just very specific, very unique. This is, you know, really the only plant and the only extract that can do this. Right. And, you know, the, the best part is because it's not going through the receptor or it's not creating a sympathomimetic, you know, uh, effect. It is free from any side effects, which normally, you know, you find in these cyclic AMP activators. 
So you're not having any increase in your heartbeat or you're not having any, you know, uh, uh, pumping up of any other organ. So basically it acts very in a very subtle manner and increases your cyclic AMP and, you know, without any side effects that way. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I, I'm sure everyone will learn a ton from, from watching this and would love to speak again with you again sometime. Sure. Thank you, Roy. Thank you.